was poppy you are it's your girl amani sharifa what's up what's goody what's good 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 goody yo boo's good <laughs> shout out to my baby girls <laughs> that is so nice back to your girl shadow what's up mama <laughs> what's good you are so on to this girl talk episode babies we are going to be talking all about abuse of man baby there is no pleasing that so why try mm. So I'm going to be giving my girls, you know, like giving my babies, you know, some pep talk all about us to be. So, going to be giving you all some really dope advice. Let's go ahead. We're going to help by doing into it. Let's get, get, get it. Ew. <laughs> Thank you again for tuning back into your go channel. What's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> What's poppin', babies? What's goody, babies? What's goody? What's goody? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, my loves? What's good? So, <laughs> baby girls. On to these girl talk episode. Like I said, my moms, we gonna have like a little pop talk. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be talking all about there's no pleasing an abusive man. So why try? <laughs> you know, like why try, mama? You know. So I really wanna talk to my mamas out here that you know maybe. You are currently in an abusive relationship or maybe you just recently, my mom, got out of one. Or it could have even been a case where maybe you haven't just recently got out of like a abusive relationship or whatever like that, but you still are hurt from one. You know what I'm saying? So maybe like you still need to heal. You still feel like a lot of emotions for the dude or whatever like that that you know was very abusive to you babies so i want to rap with you all about us we we're gonna be kicking the shit gonna be having some well go to work we're gonna rally just you know be well motherfucking uncut about the shot to be you know and i'm gonna tell you babies i'm speaking from experience you know like what i'm gonna talk about today my mom's this is all common from experience mm. yeah <laughs> like i i'm speaking from a place where i've been on abusive relationships in the past now notice i said relationships as in plural mamas because i've been on you know i've been in two abusive relationships in my life uh, what I really found, you know, from dealing with abuse in my life or whatever like that is that with these type of fucking, you know, just abusive as narcissistic, you know, just just low vibrational fuck ass niggas is that they tend to never be pleased. You know, like they they never please. Nothing you do, nothing you say. Nothing you think, mama, is going to please the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the main things that a Lord God, the universe, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Divine, the Most High, whatever name, baby, that you want to call God, find by me, my love, because God got multiple names, she ain't shame. But that's one of the main things that a Lord God, the universe, really showed me. You know, that was like the common denominator. When I came to like dealing with these abusive ass fuck ass thuggers in the past, you know. Now, of course, that ain't the only thing, you know, that, con- you know, was like 
common denominators if you want to see when I was back in like abusive relationships. But that was one that I really, really had to come to terms with BBs. And I'm going to keep it well with you. No matter what type of abusive relationship that you are in, mama, that's normally one of the main common denominators that is laid. One of the solid foundations to dealing with an abusive motherfucker. He will never, baby, never, <laughs> never, 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 ever be pleased. You know, like, he will never be pleased. And what I mean by, like, never be pleased, it's always going to be some shut. And you're always going to be the person that caused it in his eyesight. <laughs> like, in his eyesight, you're always going to be the problem. You always going to be the issue. You always going to be the reason for why he feel he's justified to treat you like a piece of shit. You know what It's always going to be you. It's never going to be him, baby. And even when he proclaims that, you know, he's sorry, he understand where you come up from, he gonna do better, you know, he's not going to treat you like that anymore, blah, 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 girl, that shit, like, you already know, that shit is a piece of shit. <laughs> Like, I would just keep it a meal with you. You already know, my mans. When them niggas saying all that shit about how sour they are and they gonna change and they never gonna do this to you, do that to you, I got bust. All that shit is hot, mother good. <laughs> and that straight fucks. No cop in my rap, big dog. All that shit is cop, babies. It's all to keep you under that mind control of feeling like that you need to stay in that abusive relationship with him, continue to try to work it out, continue to give him more chances time after time after time, continue to put up with his bullshit. It's all a part of that mind control, baby, to make you feel like that you are responsible for another motherfucker that's supposed to be a grown ass man. Oh, Poia. <laughs> to make you feel like that, you gotta be a motherfucking mother to his ass damn near. Because he's acting like a motherfucking child. You know? At the end of the day, baby girls, and this just wants to well ass shut. You're always going to be the villain in his eyes. He's you're, you're always going to be that, baby. And the reason I say that is because <laughs> when you're in those type of connections, mama, there's never no peace. Whenever I was dealing with abuse, you know, in my previous relationships, and again, this happened like a very long time ago, but it was never no motherfucking peace with them love. You know what I'm saying? It was always something going on. And I'm going to really focus on, you know, today's episode about, like, my second abusive relationship. You know, both were horrible. But the second one was really, really bad. It was it was worse than my first abusive relationship. And, you know, that relationship happened a really long time ago. Let's well, my mom's. But, like, with this dude, you are, like... Girl, <laughs> when when I see it was like Bush, it was like it was like a world war with that nigga. All the every fucking D. It was just it was so toxic. No peace, you know, no fucking peace. It was always just just bullshit that I was dealing with with his ass, and he felt like that. It was okay to abuse me. He felt like that. It was, it was, he was justified to do the shit. Because he was fucking insane in his damn mind. 
he was not at all in tune with the log of the universe. He had the andor of thee, had so many fucking insecurities but the inside. Because most abusive men are like that. Most abusive men, babies, they are very insecure. They're not fucking secure within themselves. I don't give a fuck how good the nigga look. I don't give a fuck what type of shit he got popping for himself. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn about his car she chucks. Them CC's bags, dollars. I don't care about his motherfucking status. Like, girl, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. At the end of the day, those that are like very abusive, they're very insecure. And typically, they have like a lot of unhold, like trauma and shit like that, that they never actually fucking hold. You know what I'm saying? They never actually worked with the Lord of the Universe to heal that part of themselves. So that's what's like really triggering the other demons and they project it onto you, babies. Like, come on now, like, if you turn into my channel, I said this multiple times before when we talk about shit like this, when it comes up on the fun episodes. Motherfuckers out here that have a lot of inner trauma and shit like that that they never work on, they never heal, they never outgrow, they never change, they never elevate. They tend to project that onto other people, babies. And you know, when it came to like my ex, that was his motherfucking problem. This nigga has so many damn unhealed trauma wounds that he went through. Since his childhood. And he was supposed to be a motherfucking grown ass man. This nigga was not a fucking grown ass man. He was the little ass motherfucking boy. Proclaiming to be a fucking man. But he acted like a fucking idiot. A clown. A loser at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And it was like. He knew that I was such like a good hearted person. That I was like such a real ass type of bush and all of that. That he just felt that he could just use me on the sense of like just taking all his shit out on me. <laughs> and that's just the truth. So much to the point where I dealt with like a lot of abuse from him. When I was in that relationship with him, babies, and I got like I was in two abusive relationships, but I'm really talking about the second one in particular. When I was in that relationship with him, it was never no pleasing that motherfucker. He always had some type of beef about something. Something. Something that, like, it, it could have been, like, the little smallest little thing. He always had some, just, it, it was something. You know what I'm saying? It was something that he felt the need to, to exude. His quote unquote power and be abused. But at the end of the day, babies, it really deep down inside was a reflection that he really didn't love himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't really love himself, not from a well introspective standpoint. So because he did not love himself from like a well you know, like, introspective standpoint, and I really loved myself by the grace of a Lord God, he wanted to break that down. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to break that down because, see, that was the motherfucker in a demon, babies, that live within his bush eyes. He wanted to motherfucking tear me down because that's how he felt about himself. At the end of the day. All the bullshit that he tried to like show to the outer world. To like people that knew him. People on the outside and all that shit. All that shit was fake at the end of the day. It was a motherfucker for sure. It was a mask. Because behind closed doors. I knew how fucked up that nigga really was. You know what I'm saying? I knew how abusive he was. I knew how... Deep down inside, he was not this person that, you know, like, he tried to make it seem like to the world that he was this dude that had it all together, that had it all figured out, and shit like that. And it's like, no, the fuck you don't, my nigga. You damn shit, the last thing your ass got. 
Hey, <laughs> Shay, just keep it in beer with you. Uh. It's figured out. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's the last thing <laughs> you got going on is figured out. Trust me, I know. I'm getting abused by your ass all the motherfucking time. <laughs> so, you know, like, out of that one plus one, baby, as a totally, like, if you got to do a figured out, my dude, you will be sitting up here abusing me all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? But that's what they do, babies. They wear that mask to the world. And they make it seem like that they have it all together. They make it seem like that they such a good person. They make it seem like that they're this, this, this image, this leader that people should look up to or that people should trust. When in reality, the motherfuckers is damn near Satan's son. And I'ma keep it a beer with you. That nigga was Satan's son. Can <laughs> Shane? So because he cowy, so much fuck ass, low ass, trashy ass, ain't shit ass motherfucker energy within himself. He literally, he took everything out on me. And that's why it was like, no matter what I did, no matter what I said back then, no matter what I thought, like, you know, what I when I was share with him, like, how, you know, me and him could get past it and all of that shit, none of it was ever good enough in his eyes, babies. None of it was ever good enough. Because he did not feel good enough inside about himself. So he wanted me to feel the way that he felt. He wanted me to take on his trauma that he felt deep down inside. This is why I say BB girls. Because I'm showing this with you all for a reason. This is why I say there is no pleasing a man that is abuser. Mm. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, just give it a beer with you. And you know, some of you are baby girls, y'all could be thinking like, well, how you laughing about all this shit you went through abuse? Listen, my moms, when you properly heal by the grease of a little girl, and I done told my bitches this multiple times on my channel, when you properly heal from the bullshit that you done been through, you can actually have babies. Because you're so held inside by the grease of a lua guac that that shit don't trigger you anymore. It don't get you pissed off anymore. It don't make you cry anymore. And that's why I always encourage my babies to heal properly once you get out of situations like this by the grease of a lua guac. If you don't heal properly, you're not going to ever really be able to look back at it and laugh. You will not ever be able to look back at it and not feel those emotions from what you've been through with that person. You know what I'm saying? But when you do properly hit by the grace of a lower God, when you do properly move the hell on with your damn life, when you do properly, you know, heal past it and let go of all that bullshit that that person tried to just build and instill in you you can't do this look at it from like a more higher vibrational aspect because you will understand the lesson of what a lord of the universe was teaching you by dealing with somebody like that and it's not going to control you anymore from a mental emotional psychological spiritual or energetic it's not going to control your mind and that kind of way so yeah, I can look back at the shit because again, this shit happened a long time ago. You know, like this, both abusive relationships, those were a long time ago. You know, my first abusive relationship was a really, really long time ago. I was really young when I experienced that. 
and then after I got out of that one and you know it was a lot of time that had passed before I got into me a second abusive relationship but you know the thing was about the first one my loves and you know I mentioned this before on my channel you know the first abusive relationship when I got out of it I didn't heal properly so you know a lot of time had passed and I ended up attracting another abusive ass relationship in my life because I never you know back then talking about I never had held properly from the first one but when I got out of that second one I held properly by the grace of a lower God so I can look back at this shit now and I can laugh and shut because I'm properly held inside for me. You know, I don't allow that shit that I want to to be a controlling factor in my life because I've learned my lesson for me. And that's very important, babies. You know, to my baby girls, if you just got out of these abusive relationships or to my mamas that, you know, you been out of it but you really still struggle like with your healing process, Baby, you got to heal properly by the grace of the Lord God. I cannot stress that enough, my mom. And to my bitches out there, we are, you are still in these fuck-ass connections that are abusive, my mom. You know, of course, I'm going to encourage that you get out of it, baby. And once you get out of it, you need to know that you need to heal properly. And there ain't no, no cliche shit. No, that's some real G shit. For wow. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do that, mamas. Like, what's the well ass shut is so empowered. Because if you don't heal properly, you will never, <laughs> you will never be able to let that shit go for a while, for a while of what you want to. You know? So, you know, it was like for me, back then, you know, I, I, I started to see the path one. Of what a lower God was really showing me, which is that there was no pleasing. There's no uh, there's no pleasing someone that is not even fucking pleased with themselves. And that's the honest God truth of the situation. I don't give a fuck what type of abusive relationship that you're in, my mom's. If you're in an abusive relationship, there's no pleasing them type of dudes. And of course, you know, like, everybody's different. Everybody's situation is different at the end of the day. So, rather, if you were a nigga like that, you know, wears a mask and he, you know, makes it seem like that he's this this person that's like this or like that. Or, if you was what a dude or what a dude that, let's see, let's see, motherfuckers do know he abuse her. And do know that he ain't shut and shit like that. It really do matter. But the point now is, is that he's abused. <laughs> like that's the point of the whole the whole thing that we're talking about. So you have to know that these kind of relationships don't get you anywhere. But hood, baby. It don't get you anywhere but hood in the end. And if you keep trying to put a nigga before your damn self, because constantly still trying to work it out with somebody that a longer of the universe has go <laughs> showed you that there's no motherfucking pleasing that nigga because it always leads to him, you know, being abusive as hell to you. That is it's what done that at the end of the day is motherfucking what done that. You know what I'm saying, babies? And I understand how you feel, mama. It's like a gun. That's why I put out that at the beginning of this episode that I'm speaking from experience. You see? I'm, I'm a bitch that I'm been through. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, I've been through that shit. Like for a while. I don't firsthand how just toxic that shit is. You know, so like babies, I know when you really love a motherfucker, it's hard. It's very hard. I, back then, I really loved 
the dudes that I was what that's why I was dealing with the abuse because I was so in love with the nigga. <laughs> you know, like I was so in love with him at that time. When I was in my first abusive relationship, I was really in love with that dude. When I was in my second abusive relationship, I was really in love with his ass. You know what I'm saying? But you can't be blindsided by the emotions. You can't be blindsided by the love. That you feel so much for that zoo girl. That you lack love for a log of the universe in your damn self. And whenever you send up the important a nigga over yourself, over what you know that you really need to do for you, baby girl, then you're putting him before a log of the universe. And that's just straight fags, my nigga. That's just keeping it real. When you are constantly putting a man that is that's being abusive, that's very toxic to you, my mans. And you putting him before what you know that a log of the universe is guiding you to do for yourself. To get yourself up out of that, babies. You're putting that man over God himself and you put him over you. Because at the end of the day, a log of the universe is never going to want you to continue to put yourself in a situation where you're being abused and it's not getting any better. But it's getting worse. A log of the universe is never going to want you to continue to deal with that, mama. You know, a lot of times, babies, you know, and one of my facts of life on my channel is like, you know, we go through a lot of lessons in life. You know, there's a lot of lessons as women, baby girls, that we have to go through. And some women go through abuse. Like myself, like you, that's listening. But at the end of the day, baby girls, it's meant for us to learn the lesson from it. It's not meant, mamas, for you to continue to stay on it. It's not meant for you to allow that to be your story. And the sense of, like, you just continuing to subject yourself to trying to please a nigga and please a nigga and please a nigga. And there's no motherfucking pleasing that nigga. Hey, <laughs> Shane. Because how the fuck you going to please a motherfucker that's not even pleased with his damn self? Inside. There's no pleasing a man like that. I don't care who he is. I don't give a fuck about that shit. That shit don't mean nothing. Because if he's abusing you, he's not pleased with himself. Ain't no real motherfucker nigga going to abuse a woman. And that's just straight facts, my nigga. Like, I don't fuck who like that shit or not. Oh, God. Like, ain't no real ass nigga going to abuse a woman at the end of the day. Tell me that. No real nigga going to do that. So when you talking about a dude is doing that to you, babies, you gotta motherfucking know you're not dealing with a real man. You dealing with a bitch nigga boy for a while. Oh, crrr. <laughs> you dealing with a bitch nigga boy That's who you dealing with You dealing with a bitch nigga boy girl You ain't dealing with no well ma For well You dealing with a little ass boy I will give a damn what age he is You dealing with a bitch nigga boy <laughs> I call him B and B's, bitch, nigga, boy. <laughs> yeah. I call them motherfuckers B and B's, bitch, nigga, boys for wow. <laughs> That's what the hell do you are, you know, babies. So, you know, you have to know that a log of the universe is not going to want you to continue to put yourself on situations like that. Because it's not going to benefit you, mamas. Learn the lesson of what a Lord God is trying to teach you. And, you know, you go into the life experience. And you move forward in your life. But understand that 
trying to continue to please a man that is abusive is is just as equivalent as insanity right along with his ass for the fact that he think it's okay to continue to abuse you. So I hope this helps mama. <laughs> I hope this, hope this, hope this helps, my loves. These situations, babies, you know, it's literally, like, it's one of the most, like, challenging, you know, dynamics that a girl could be in with a whole zone. You know what I'm saying? It's really challenging because, you know, you're constantly at war with yourself, you know? And you're constantly a motherfucker wound with his ass because he's abusing you. So it goes back to like what I was mentioning earlier, babies. We are uh, you never had no motherfucking peace. How the hell could you have peace with a motherfucker out here that's consistently abusing the power by abusing you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's really challenging because, you know, like, as a girl, like, you really love the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really talking to my baby girls We are, you really love this dude. You know what I'm saying? You genuinely love him. And that's why you keep trying to work the relationship out or try to work the relationship out despite all the abuse that you were dealing with with her. You know? Because, you know, like just keeping it a being with you are you know like you have some woman like this there's different types of woman that you know like what deal with abuse so of course you got the baby girls like i just mentioned here you're dealing with abuse girl because you really love her ass like i just said like you genuinely love that motherfucker despite all the bullshit but then you got other bitches out here we are they're dealing with abuse but it's not due to the fact that they really love her. It's really because it's an old how we have like mood of behind that. You know what I'm saying? So maybe the dope here, you know, like the bills or whatever like that or provide much how we your possessions or maybe the dude got like a sort of amount of status and the girl is wanting to deal with whatever there's normally just some type of like hidden or how we a mother for why she was sacrificed and compromised her self respect to continue to be in a relationship with a dude that's abusing her so you got you know different kind of woman that will deal with abuse but today's episode, babies, I'm really talking to my mamas via you really love the nigga and that's why, like, you were dealing with us. It's not that, you know, like, you have any kind of, like, a towel you mood up or hurt an agenda behind why you're willing to deal with that, you know? So when you are that type of bush, it's my fucking whore. Like, I ain't going... I ain't going to shoot you or and act like that when you're in those situations. It's not hard to leave. It's not challenging to get over the motherfucker. Oh, it damn sure us. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a being with you or show these like, That's like one of the most challenging situations when you love a motherfucker that's treating you like shut. When you love a motherfucker that's sitting up here abusing the fuck out of you. When you love a motherfucker that, you know, is constantly, like we talked about, making you out to be the villain. But mind you, this is the same nigga that's abusing you. <laughs> but you in love with him. You know, like you really care about him. That shit is very challenging. So I'm not at all, baby girls, like trying to show you on how you feel. I'm not trying to, like, you know, make up seem like that. It's just really easy. Hell, it's everything but easy when you are walking away from a situation like that. And it is very challenging when it comes to healing properly. It is not going to happen overnight, my moms. And I think it's so fucking important that you get that shit out your heart, baby girls. Like, I'm going to keep it up being with you. <laughs> You gotta get that out your heart. 
you gotta stop thinking that if you walk away from her size or if you have already walked away from her size that poof you just automatically supposed to be like hell hell motherfucker no like what the, what the hell are we talking about right now bitch we talking about that your ass be getting abused or was getting abused what the fuck make you think that you're going to be held after dealing with all that shit? It's, it's, it's not going to happen, babies. It's not going to happen overnight. But it will happen, mamas, over the fine timing, sweethearts. By the grace of a lower god, if you truly do alchemize and work with a lower god's energy and your higher self, and you be disciplined and really do hold yourself motherfucking accountable when I come to like you really hurling over divine timing. I'm telling you, like I'm telling you, baby, you will heal. You will. So many baby girls out here put these motherfucking limitations on themselves that when they get out of these kind of connections and situations that they ain't never go ahead you know they're never going to find the do- and that's another thing they never gonna you know like i'm never gonna find a dude that you know is going to be good or niggas the same or that shit like you have to understand babies the power <laughs> of your words and your thoughts Oh, I'm going to say that shit one more time. For my bitches in the back that ain't hard to go. Girl. <laughs> like, for what else, we was You have to, like, be very mindful of the power of the tongue your words that you speak and your thoughts that you think because that can't manifest your reality and that's what's about G shut you can't get out of connections like that and automatically start thinking about a whole nother nigga I mean you if you do that shit I'ma tell you bush you ain't gonna heal properly and that's why I mentioned that earlier babies I mentioned it earlier that after my first abusive relationship, but I ain't heal properly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did not heal properly. And that's why my motherfucking ass attracted another abusive nigga. You know, even after all that time had passed from like my first abusive relationship from when I got into the second abusive relationship. I still attracted a nigga that was abusive. Why? You could be thinking, mama, like, you know, like, you could be thinking in your heart, like, well, you know, like, you can't control who you attract. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> that's kind of true and that's kind of n- not true. And the, so let me, let me just break that down really quick, you know? It's true. You cannot control who you attract. You know what I'm saying? But you can control who you deal with. Mm. You can control, babies, who the fuck you deal with at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said about the words. You can control... What type of motherfuckers you out there on the team? You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. If you ain't healed properly from that abusive ass motherfucker, girl, your energy is not going to be at a high vibration. And let me just let me just put this out here. Let me put this shit out here on the books right now, my girl. Higher vibration ain't got shit to motherfucking do with where you are at when it comes to your career status. Where you at when it comes to your cashy chats, them CCs, them bags, them dollars, baby. Where you at when it comes to like your status, your accolades, and all this bullshit, that surface level, that has nothing to do with high vibration. 
High vibration, mamas. You gotta know, babies, that's high into your spirit, your mind, your soul, your energy. That's what high vibration ties down to. It's not based upon the surface level things of like where you are in your career. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where you are when it comes to your status. Where you at when it comes to shit. What type of material things you got. You know what I'm saying? Where you at when it comes to your accolades. Where you at when it comes to your finances. That's, that's nothing wrong, babies. We're striving towards goals, dreams, aspirations. And those categories. And shit, what's wrong with that, mamas? Hey, <laughs> shit ain't like you already know on my channel. I always tell my motherfucking bushes to hide your shit lace. You know, meaning like you be underpinned by the grease of a lower god. I always tell you to get your motherfucking bag. But that shit should never define you as a girl. You know what I'm saying? That's not what vibration is based upon. You know what I'm saying, babies? So if you don't heal properly after you get out of that abusive ass connection, mama. Follow me, mamas. Like, walk with your girl on us. Your vibration is not going to raise, baby. It's not sweet words. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not. Like, I'm being that ass for what? Like, I'm telling you the truth. That shit not going to raise, baby. And because your spirit and your energy that you carry as a girl have not raised because you ain't healed properly from that toxic fuck ass nigga that was abusing the hell out of you trying to know that toxic energy to you to, because you were dealing with abuse <laughs> you're going to even after you get out of the relationship with home babies if you don't hear by the grace of a little girl properly you're gonna continue mama to attract toxic ass abusive man in your life or just toxic man period you know what I'm saying? You're going to continue to do that. And the more you continue to do that, then you're going to keep seeing that shit like, oh, niggas ain't shut, oh, niggas ain't shut. But you have to understand some real ass shit. What type of energy are you carrying? You're still carrying ain't shut energy, baby. And I'm not saying that you're not shit as a person because, mama, you gone through a lot. I'm not, I'm not going, like I said, I'm not sure enough, but I'm telling you the truth. You are still cowing what is considered to be that motherfucking ancient ass energy, baby, because you never held with a lower good. So because you ain't never really held properly, you're not going to ever attract dudes that are more at a higher vibration that will really connect with you on a soul and spirit level you know what i'm saying really connect with your mind at a higher vibration because see you gotta do the motherfucking work first my girl that's what i'm telling you or you got to do the work first on yourself that's a poor of healing properly babies and the only way that can happen is if you heal properly with the person that has created you do you know, my loves, the type of trauma that gets embodied on a woman when she goes through abuse? Do you have any idea? Like, you may be thinking like, yeah, girl, I know, like, shit, I'm dealing with it right now. Well, I was dealing with it. What you mean? Like, the fuck? Yeah, I know, like, what type of trauma I been through? Like, how fucking? Yeah, I know. Nah, Bush, you don't really know. You don't really understand, like, the type of trauma, spiritually and mentally, that it affects from, like, a chemical level of how your brain, of how your spirit moves. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by move is, like, the type of conduction that you're on you don't really understand the form of scientific and spiritual aspect how that shit really do impact the woman to a different degree when you deal with abuse in your life 
You don't understand that, baby. The only way that shit can be held is to the person that has created you. He's the only person that could give you the strength, my girl. And this was well, G, shut. A Lord God, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Divine, the Most High, He the only person that could give you the strength and properly guide you. So that we, that, that abuse that you went to, that traumatic energy can be transmuted into, you know, you healing and a pause of the way and to release and let it go. He's the only person that can heal a woman that bond through abuse. Let me motherfucker tell you, baby. Another nigga can't heal you from that. Hey, Shane. I'm just keeping it a beer with you, my mom's like I'm keeping this shit well straight, no cheese that. <coughs> well ten so what's that what yeah. Like I'm I'm keeping it a beer with my baby gals. Cause I really want y'all to understand us from like a more of a spiritual level, baby. Take your head out of the motherfucking clouds and really listen to what a bird saying. <laughs> Can't nobody heal you from that? Other than your father that created you. He's the only person that can heal a woman when she went through abuse. Another nigga, you getting another nigga right away and shit like that. But she not going to heal you. I don't give a fuck how nice he is. Or how nice he betrayed he is for however long. Because again, when you don't heal properly, you're not going to attract a higher vibrational man. Even if he appears to be nice and all it does and blah, 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 the shit's not going to last. And the reason it's not going to last because you have not held properly. Period. So you're still going to attract someone that spiritually, mentally, emotionally, energetically is not aligned with you, baby, from a higher vibration. That's just what it is. You know? Energy is well, baby. We talk a lot about that on my channel. We talk a lot about energy on my channel. Because I want my babies to know that that shit is well, well. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, another nigga can't heal you, baby. Only your father can, sweet what? Only a Lord God can heal you after a man has caused so much fucking trauma on you from dealing with that abuse my loves that's the only way i held and i was able to 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 truly heal by the grace of a lower goa was because i properly held to my father that's the only way that's the only motherfucking way i'm keeping it being with you so sure, like, you know, like that stuff happened such a long time ago, but I've healed properly. So it's like that shit don't affect me in no kind of negative way. But it's because a Lord God, the universe held me and I held my motherfucking self accountable, babies. You know, if I did not get away from my second abusive relationship, that I was on, it wasn't the end of world. I'm just being dead ass for well. That motherfucker was a, was a fucking lunatic, my nigga. He was a fucking lunatic, a fucking sociopath for well. Like just a weirdo. Like <laughs> that's the best way I describe this nigga. A fucking psychopath. And if I did not take a serious by the grace of a lower God to get the fuck away from that nigga, <laughs> last time, last time, I'm being that ass for well. That shit wanna end the world. Cause he would have literally tried to take me the fuck up out of here, Bush, like once a while. So if I did not, you know, like, really listen to a Lord God, I wouldn't be here telling you on this. Once the world G shook, 
don't take this shit for sure when you're on these abusive relationships. They are no, it's, it's, it's no fucking pleasing these type of niggas. Because they have some serious inner deep dark shit that's going on with themselves. That they don't want to fucking hear. And again, babies, it don't matter if you are with the dudes that motherfucking DM, he wears a mask to the world and nobody knows that he's abusive. Like how it was when it came to like my exes or he actually do show to the world that he motherfucking abusive but he don't care because you got niggas like that. You got dudes that wear the mask and they don't want nobody to know that they're a fucking lunatic behind closed doors. They don't want nobody to know that they're abusive behind closed doors. And you got other niggas that don't give a damn who know. <laughs> like, just keeping it be with you or shorties. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... It don't fucking matter though, babies. Don't take that shit for sure. I don't know, like, if you are be listening, I'm pretty sure y'all do, but there's more and more cases about girls losing their lives to these these domestic violence situations. And you know, like my heart goes out to any family that have lost, you know, the loved one due to shit like this, me a lua good. You know, be pleased and, you know, bless you all with nothing but healing and love and light, babies. But this is, you know, like, this is why it's so important to understand this concept of what we're talking about today, my loves. You, there's no pleasing these men. Why keep trying? No, it's not going to be easy to move on. No, it's not going to be easy to heal. Hell no, it ain't. At first. But if you truly do. Commit yourself by the grace of Alua Gua to healing and wanting to do better, babies. I'm telling you, my girl, and I ain't shooting my, I'm not shooting my bushes at all. You will heal from it. And it will be quicker than what you think. Now, it's not going to happen like in a day or like overnight again, but it's not going to be what you think it will be if you do properly heal and stay on that consistent path with the lower god when he guides you on what to do throughout your your proper healing journey it's a journey baby it's a journey i call it a healing journey because that's what the hell it is so my mamas i want you to know that take the shit serious take a serious let it go and if you've already let it go but you're still holding from it baby you gotta heal mama you got to heal that's what a lower god is telling you you have more work to do and that's okay that is okay that's okay but don't go back to the shot the motherfuckers love for a bitch to double back <laughs> They love a bitch to double by to spin the block and shit like that. And fuck with them and God, hell no. That's the last thing you want to do with them. And I, you know, like, I do so many girl talks talking about, like, so many different topics on this channel. You know, if you're, if you're subscribed to the dynasty, <laughs> if you are content, you support <laughs> You would know that, my mom. I do so many topics but like i've been very transparent on my channel about just you know different things that i have been to when i went through these abusive relationships and you know like if you were concerned you support her you know because i do so many different topics and shit like that you know like i talked about this shit this is serious and i'm very passionate at letting my babies know because i want you all to do better for yourself babies you gotta take care of yourself. Ain't nobody gonna take care of you better than a log of the universe and yourself. <laughs> and that's just straight up. Like, for wow. That's for wow. You gotta get on that motherfucking horse and keep riding up in that bush. But the only way you can do that is by you getting on the horse. Meaning that you getting on that path of that healing journey rather if you 
feel like you've been on the journey and you just still ain't healed or you in that relationship you need to leave and whatever you know like please show i don't know bbs you need to get on the motherfucker who was by the grace of a lower who was and you need to rise you know horses represent freedom so that's metaphoric for you need to be on a path where you are freeing yourself from that bullshit whether if it's you're leaving him or you already left them but you still need hell still need healing because even again once you lead them niggas then you want a journey to to recovery <laughs> it's nothing to feel ashamed of and i want my babies to really know that sweet words it's nothing to feel ashamed of and what i mean by that don't feel ashamed of what you've gone through don't feel the shame and don't let no motherfucking body make you feel ashamed. Your story is your story. You know? That's between you and Alua Gua. Can't nobody judge you, baby girls, other than Alua Gua himself. Oh, cr- <laughs> period. You don't have to answer to no motherfuckers out here. The only person that you have to answer to is the person that has created you, which is the Lord himself. Your father, the Lord, the divine, the universe. That's who you answer to. You don't answer to other people. So don't feel ashamed, mamas. Don't feel ashamed. No matter where you're at right now in this whole situation, it's going to be okay, babies. But you have to come to this understanding that this cycle of trying to please the man that's abusive, that don't value you, that don't give two fucks about you. I don't give a damn what he say. He don't give two fucks about you. (laughs) I'm going to keep it a being, my nigga. He do. Uh, I'm telling you, a real man is not going to be abusing you. And that's just like the dynamic of your relationship. But well, man's not going to do that. But what we talk about earlier, <laughs> a bitch nigga boy is grow. <laughs> like, baby, a bitch nigga boy. You know what I'm saying? A toxic guy's nigga. I call them tans as well. A tan, a T A N, a toxic ass nucka. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell you, yeah, they go do shit like that. And then a lot of times, you know, and babies, you you will know thus if you gotten away from him or a buddy, whoever abused you. You know, some of y'all may have experienced this already, some may haven't. But you know, a lot of times, once you escape them, then they want to, like, make you out to be, like, this person that is, like, the, just the enemy. Like I said, the villain. But they, but they, they, they don't make you, like, an opponent, like, an arc to them. And it's all because by the grace of the Lord God, you did what, what, what you were supposed to do. They want you to stay in that shit until it's no more you. That's really, that's, that's the sick part about it. And that's what you don't want to get, you know, to. You don't want to get to that point and see a Lord God will bow to me, God. You know, with my second abusive relationship, it was going to get to that point if I did not leave. He he would have taken my motherfucking leg. Because he was a fucking psycho. <laughs> like, it, it, that's the boss we to describe. But he was a fucking psychopath. You ain't shame. And he was just, he, he was sickly obsessed with me. Sickly obsessed. You know? And wanted me to keep dealing with that. Wanting me to continue to just subject myself to the to his bullshit. So even once I got away from him, he was pissed. Oh, pus. Let me tell you. <laughs> That's why I'm telling you, my mom's late. I'm telling you, listen to your bugs, us. Listen to your bugs, us. If you don't have a relationship with your mother, bush, I'm your mother. <laughs> 
listen to your mother listen to your look listen to your home girl i'm your home girl i'm your sus i'm your mother i'm all of that bush i'm your auntie whatever you <laughs> whatever you want baby girl you know but listen to me this is why you gotta be close to a lower guy because these motherfuckers get real they get real puss when you gotta weed from them they they <laughs> I'm telling you, these abusive ass niggas get worse when you actually leave the relationship. And this is why I encourage you, you gotta be close to a little guy because he'll protect you. He will protect you, bitch. So rather if you have a relationship with, you know, a little guy, your creator, or if you don't have one with him at all, be genuine. If, you, if you're going to strengthen your relationship with him or if you're going to establish one with him because, you know, you have not had one with him, be genuine when you do it. Because you want to know if you being well or if your motherfucking nice copping. Remember, he created you. So he know your thoughts way before you think him, baby. He know your actions way before you take him. He know the words you're going to speak before you even speak to him. So don't short your father like that because you're going to be shorting your damn self for a while, you know? So, yeah, them, them niggas get pussed. Max was pissed as a motherfucker. Pissed. Mad, mad as hell that I got away from his queasy ass and, and did not want to take him back. He was mad. Girl, let me tell you. Nigga was us. Oh, he was so mad. And then he was mad. Like, once we were finally done and over with and never getting back together, he was so mad because he couldn't he couldn't get to me. He could not get to me. He didn't know where I was. He, you know, like he he could not get to me. He he could not have no kind of access to me. He was pussed. Pussed. But a little girl protected me from him. <laughs> you feel nothing or no one but a little girl himself. It's important that you develop that BB if you don't already fully feel it. It's, it's important because, see, you gotta know that Satan will work his energy through them abusive ass knuckles to put fear on you. You know? And the more that they sense fear on you, is the more they try to attack you. That's why I said stay in fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, babies, this is how we ask. Understand that this whole concept of like trying to make it work, or you know, if you broke up with him, you you thinking about going back to him, you know. You, you thinking about like how you can please him or maybe if you want to do dust definitely or sad dust definitely or, or whatever definitely you know it would have ended no baby don't make motherfucking excuses for an abusive ass nigga for an abusive ass dog girl don't make no motherfucking excuses for them there's no excuses you ain't saying and trust me the motherfuckers will be handled by a lower guard. He'll give them they come. For well, <laughs> he gonna give them motherfuckers some good ass karma. It's gonna tear their asses up for them thinking that they can abuse one man. Trust me. It always happens like that, mamas. And the divine timing. Them niggas that karma always catch up with them. And like I always see on my channel, babies. It happens when they least expect that. Mmm. Yup. 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 That's what the hell I said. <laughs> that show her them when they least expect that. It don't take you ever doing revenge. I don't ever encourage that. Because you will weep karma for that 
and you can think in your head all you want. Well, how the fuck I'm a weed, you know, how the fuck am I going to, you know, like, get back on my, that nigga abusing me. But let me tell you, stop the bullshit. <laughs> like, stop it. I understand how you feel. I do. I got it. But that's not how a little good looks at it. He tests you to see what you're going to do. If you're going to try to take revenge against him because of what he's done to you. Or if you're going to trust him that he will handle it for you in divine timing. But notice I said divine timing is going to happen when Aloha Gwad calls forward to play out and happen. Not what you want it, babies. Because he wants you to focus on what you need to be focused on. Not on what's going to happen to them next. You know what I'm saying? But you can tr tr trust the motherfucking believe, bro. It will happen. So, mamas, I never encourage you to take revenge against these niggas. Hell no. That's the last thing you want to do. Because the Lord God will handle that for you, babies. So I can understand how you feel, my mans, you know, in regards to that, but I'm telling you, don't, don't let your ego get in the midst of it and your emotions send you over because you're going to attract bad karma to you. What you put out, you're going to get back. So you take revenge against time, you're going to get something bad in karma back to you as well. He still will get bad karma. But you're going to get back karma as well. Because you did not trust a lower good the universe that he'll handle it for you. So just know, babies, it don't require that. But what it does require is you understanding that trying to please this man is not going to really truly please or benefit you. Not in this now moment or in the future. And the more that you try to pour onto something that you really need to let go, is the more that you will lose yourself and something can happen potentially that may be fully and totally out of your control because you did not listen to a log of the universe when he tried to guide you safely away from us. So, I love you, mama, so much. <laughs> love you, love you, love you, babies. So, 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 so much. Please, I like this video. So, that way, our channel can continue to go, babies. Comment below, my girls. Let me know, like, mamas, is this your situation or is this something that you bumped to in the past and you know you still need more healing or if you've already moved past it, let me know, baby girls. It is no judgment at all. You know, like, I'm sending my babies nothing but love, you know, and we have a little girl talk today. <laughs> <laughs> and I know a lot of the things I said was very blunt, but it's what you need to hear, mama. You know, the truth is not always going to be, you know, the the thing that you want to hear, but it's going to be what you need to hear. And just know, my loves, that it came from a place of love. Never judge me. That's why I put it out there that I speak from experience that these, you know, the things that I'm seeing, the things that I'm recommending, the things that I'm, I'm telling you, babies, it's not coming from a place of trying to look down upon you or shun you or make you fall like last night. Hell, motherfucking you are. But it's coming from like a genuine place that I really do love you are. And I want you all to understand the importance of your loving your motherfucking selves way more than what you love that nigga you know what i'm saying abusive men don't love nobody they don't even love their themselves because if they love themselves they wouldn't be abusing you because they would know that doing shit like that a little good the universe don't approve of i don't give a gun 
I don't care what who the nigga is. He don't approve of men abusing woman. And that's facts, my nigga. That that's lore. <laughs> straight that's straight loyalty lore for wow. A lure gua do not he don't condone it. Period. So just know it came from love for why I told and shared with my baby girls the double things that we talked about today. So you know definitely comment below and let me know, you know, are you dealing with us or if you have dealt with it but you still gotta heal, just know babies that a lure gua will definitely see you do it. But you got to be willing to get to it. So subscribe. Become a part of the dynasty. Hit that notification bell. So you are updated when I post my next topic on Chuck Oatman playlist. So mamas. <laughs> I have so many topics in here that you could really benefit from. You know, like, so many great topics, girl, like, I'm telling you that you, you really love, so definitely check it out. Pretty soon, though, I'm gonna have, like, some new stories that you can actually watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. My bitch is gonna be able to watch me. Yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned, because it's gonna be a lot of the fun series. We gonna be laughing, cooking the shit. Hey, shame, but you know, it's gonna be a lot of different things that you can actually tune and watch my love. So, definitely stay tuned. And if you have not done so yet, go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram, babies. My Instagram name is Barona Queen. Check the description box below too, because I have some other social media profiles in there that you can definitely follow as well. Because I would love to have you uh, <laughs> a part of a money Sharifa dynasty. What's up, what's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> but until next time, my loves. <laughs> Peace, love, and light always. Mm -hmm. Later.